The nationwide lockdown will be extended for two more weeks and will now end on the 17th of May. That and all the other big stories of the day right here on Outbreak News. The nationwide lockdown will be extended by two more weeks to the 17th of May, the Ministry of Home Affairs said in a press release today. The lockdown was first announced by PM Modi on March 24th and was expected to end on the 3rd of May. While the government has said that the lockdown has helped slow down the spread of the virus, India is still seeing thousands of new COVID-19 cases every day, necessitating the two-week extension. As earlier, the country will be divided into red, orange and green districts depending on the severity of the COVID-19 infection and some relaxations will be seen in the green and orange zones. The government today decided to run special trains for migrant workers to take them home after they were left stranded by the lockdown. According to the Indian Railways, the passengers will only be let on board the trains after they are screened and found asymptomatic. Physical distancing will be enforced in the trains. The first such train already left from Telangana to Jharkhand today morning, carrying around 1,200 people. You might have heard the saying that the coronavirus does not see boundaries, race or wealth. Well, that may not be strictly true as the report in The Guardian says that the mortality rate of the virus was doubled in poor districts of the UK as compared to affluent ones. The poorest area had a mortality rate of 55 deaths per 100,000 people, while the richest had a rate of 25. There are many factors that play into this, such as poor areas having a lack of proper infrastructure, public hygiene or indeed healthcare. The Hubei province in China is easing some restrictions, according to the Chinese media. The province, which contains the city of Wuhan, had been the worst hit area of the country at the peak of the coronavirus crisis. The area has been on strict lockdown for months, but has now moved its COVID-19 emergency level to the second highest stage from the highest. US President Donald Trump seems convinced that COVID-19 was engineered in a lab in China, even though all available global evidence clearly says that this is not true. Trump says he has seen evidence of this, even though experts from his own government say again that this is not true. According to the New York Times, now that Trump has made these claims, his administration is pressurizing American intelligence agencies like the CIA to find this evidence, which I really must reiterate, probably does not exist. Those were all the big stories of today for all the latest on the coronavirus, both from India and across the globe. Stay tuned to NDTV Hop Life.